guys, Zuljan here, and welcome back to another episode of Abandoned Ship. The headache warns you something is coming, and the trails that surface in the water confirm your suspicions. Halifron. That didn't take long. That didn't take long at all. Alright. Our ship is a little rough right now. Let's see. Captain is probably very capable of doing this. I'll help him out though, because he's our most valuable asset. Uh, let's see here. Two guys right here can go here, and two guys right here can go here. There we go. Should not be a problem. Three Halifron at a time. No worries. Everybody heals up. Ship takes no extra damage. We all right. Get away from all the acid puddles or whatever. We can leave combat before that even happens, though. All right, so let's take a look at the map on where we're at here. We need to go right, right? We need to go right. So we need to look at that. We're going to probably have to explore the whole damn map anyway, but... Okay, we got some supplies and some fish. You sighted a collection of wooden debris and speculate that a ship must have dashed against nearby rocks. Your, crif your crew sift through the wreckage and you're delighted to find some valuables. Cool. Very cool. Very cool. It looks like it's getting cold out here. I hope we don't freeze or anything. Oh, speaking of cool. Speaking of cool. Free goodies, man. All right, that's probably close enough. Uh, let's see, one of seven. Okay, that doesn't appear too bad. Our lookout calls warning. A ship is approaching. It's intent on engaging you. Hey, okay. Have it your way, baby. Have it your way. Only four of y'all? <laughs> we gonna poop on you. <clears throat> okay, let's get the cannons aimed. Chain shot ready to go. We get close enough to hit. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. Mortar incoming. And brace. Very nice. It'd be really good if I could get one more grape shot. Yeah, this is good, man. This is really good. Their ship is not dead yet, so let's go for the medic first. And then we go for the fighter. Very nice. Very nice. All right, we're done. 38 and 16. Good stuff, good stuff. Icebergs, man. Here we go. Uh, have them patch up what they can for 20 bucks? Yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> An artisan's guild vessel is anchored open for business. These ships are often seen among popular trading routes, for, offer emergency repairs, supplies, and more luxury items. So the artisans are only able to uh, repair small amounts of damage at sea. The tiniest margin can mean the difference between... Oh, that wasn't, that wasn't nothing for 20 bucks. We just wasted our money. Um... You sail closely by a strange looking vessel and closer inspection it does have a crew, but they're all emaciated and immobile. Uh, let's see. Let's do carryover supplies for them. We did find some money for that, which is good. We only have 39 supplies left though. We'll need to be careful. We can always buy some more at port if there is in fact a port. So four of seven. Hey, fish. We were just talking about supplies. Don't mind if we do. Uh, you hadn't really paid much attention to the other ship until they began signaling th that they surrender. It's not like you were acting particularly aggressively, but they must have assumed the worst and wished to avoid conflict. 
replied that they should prepare to transfer their goods. As you close, something seems amiss. You too realize it's too late. It was all a ruse. They are fully prepared for battle. Oh, I like that, though. I like that. We all close up now. We're close up and ready. As soon as we gear up here, we're going aboard. I'm not even worried about them. <laughs> we get a grape shot immediately, almost. Let's aim for these two. Uh-huh. Then we get a little mortar shot. Then we get a little... Looks like we can go in now. Brace! We got one more. <laughs> Look at that. We do so much damage, man. They're all grouped up. Oh, baby. Y'all done messed up, boys. Why can't I get aboard now? There we go. There we go. Uh-huh. Too late, man. You're too late, brother. You are too late. <laughs> you can't drive away from us now. You can't drive away from us now. <laughs> he, he was like, wait, the wheel. Sir, grab the wheel. Get us out of here. Uh-huh. Y'all laid a little trap. <laughs> That's what happens. Suckers. <laughs> All right, six of six, we could go up here, but we don't need to do that. There's no port here either, huh? It would be nice to be able to uh, repair our ship. It'd be real nice. Just out of curiosity, six of seven, okay. Formidable cult ship. Not really worried about it. That's a cult event, too. Doesn't matter, though. Okay, two fights in a row, maybe. Maybe two fights in a row. They do have a Halifron on deck. We'll get to hit him, though. Beautiful. And we're about ready to go in. Nice. All right. We're pretty good over here. We rush. Oh, it's 2v1 right here. This could be bad. Halifron, man. Get the Halifron. Alright, good. Now get the last fighter. Okay, now get the hell away. Eek! Ha! Alright. Out of here. Everybody's healed up. Good. Okay. We're still at, um, they can't catch us at this distance. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll choose to avoid the attack. Just to make sure that our, uh, ship repair is good. We should be at the next quest now. Once we get to this area. This should be the quest location, yeah? Yeah. Here we go. An overpowering eye orb rest restlessly searching. With great force of concentration, you gradually lower your mental barriers. Exposing yourself is terrifying but necessary. It isn't long before the eye orb senses you and brings its full terrible concentration to bear. You almost quail under its weight. It would be so easy to give up but give in. And to give in. But no, you hold on. You return the stare. And the job is done. He will be coming for you soon. Wow. 
All right. So there should be a port of some sort here because this is where the quest is. Yes. Holman's Cove. You wait in cloying certainty that the Kraken is coming for you. Every minute is both agony and relief. Finally, you sense it. Before you see it or hear it, just the impression of great speed and terrible wrath. As shouts go up from your crew, the Kraken surges into the currents and swells from which only one of you will escape when the tide turns. Hours hence. Let's do it. <clears throat> Defeat the Kraken. You and your nemesis is now trapped in strong currents. Pullman's Cove. It is time to kill the Kraken or die trying. Let's do it, baby. Okay. So, the mortar is where it's going to be at right here. Yeah, I got the gunner on the mortar now. Let's just make sure it's the right gunner, though. Uh, let's see. Guns three, guns four. Yep, absolutely. Okay. Can I shoot? Okay. I don't know if it... Oh, yeah, it got him up. It got him up. It got him up. Okay, we need to uh, fix stuff here. Fix. Fix. Hmm. Fix. Fix. Can I... Can I hit it? No, it has to come up, huh? All right, it's coming up. It's coming up. I can't hit it with that. All right, this isn't going to be worth it. I just got to get on the cans. Man, okay. So I hit it one time. It has a life bar, okay? So it's going to be... Maybe it's going to be this only. Oh, hey. No, it's up. It's definitely up. I hit it. All right, it, it went down again. It went down again. Okay, what's what's going on with water? We got a pump. All right. No, just one of you, man. I uh, can't select just one. Never mind. Okay, hold up. Get out of there. Get out of there. Okay. Oh. You get out of there. Sheesh, man. <laughs> How intense is this? Okay, the water's pretty much out. The water's pretty much out. Actually, Captain, you go here. Gunner, you go here. You come... Man, this. Oh my god. Look, his tentacles are coming through the ship. Hit him. Yeah. Okay, come man this cannon right quick. He's going to come up. Or did he? Hold on. I gotta get this guy over here. And this guy back over here. Whew. Oh, shit. Medic. Brace. Brace. Yeah, I hit him good. Ooh. Just in time, brace for that. We're taking damage, though, big time. The other medic needs to come to our attention immediately. Ugh. Oh, we got some spawn. Of some sort. Halifrons. 
Hold on. Here we go. Alright. They're dead. Let's go to the medic. Brace again. How messy is this, man? Okay, we got... Cool. It just rolled on us, man. Okay. We gotta get back to the cannons. <laughs> how we are? How are we on water? We're okay on water. Okay. Hit him. Okay, he went back down. Good. All right. Let's see. He needs healing. We need to get back on the mortar. Whew. We already have a medic. All right. Is he... Brace. He's going to ram us. I hit him good. I kind of avoided that. <laughs> nice. Okay, target lost. That's okay. Okay, so the maneuver bore, it gives us the option to flee. There's not a whole bunch we could do outside of that. Can we brace? No, it didn't give us the option to brace. Alright, but it is going to give us the option to mortar here. I think. No, it's not. We brace, though. There's a tidal wave. Okay, we've been through this fight before. We hurting, man. We are hurting. Get out. Whew. Okay. Back to positions, everybody. Except for you. You are coming... Actually, you are coming down here. You're coming back up here. You're gonna come down here. Nice, that was a good hit. Okay, he's at halfway. Man, <laughs> this is intense, boys. Intense, and we, we continuing to take damage here. Okay. Oh, we're gonna have some little, some little nasties. Uh, why is it not manned? Uh. Okay. Everybody is currently laying down or whatever. Okay, target lost. Dang it. Did that work? Did it get him up? Nope. Brace. More damage. Another one. Tidal wave now. Alright, nobody went overboard. That's good. Hit him. Can't believe we missed. We missed. Uh oh. Maybe we did uh, just in time. Brace. 
Christ. Dang. I am hurting. I am hurting bad. Oh, crap. Okay. Okay, get these guys back on cannons. Actually, get the... Where the hell is the captain? Nice. We hit him. <sighs> guys. This is crazy. Get him up. Nope. We did not. Damage. All right. Let's see what happens. Where's he at? There he is. Yeah, we're bracing. We're bracing. It's almost manned. Thank you. Just in time. Whew. That was pretty rough. Nice hit. Guys, it's going to be so close. Yes. I'm starting to figure it out now. About time, huh? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Oh, no. You got to get out of here. Yeah, just go to the medical station. How about that? And then come back over here. Help man the cannon. We're still alive, boys. We're still alive. Gosh, it's so intense, man. Um, You need to heal you just for a second. Okay. Then come back over here. And the mortar needs to shoot, like, right there. Totally missed that opportunity. Target lost. Okay. Did we get him? Did we get him? I think we got him. I think we got him. Oh my god, look at the health. The crew go wild with jubilation and relief. You stand shocked, ready, and a small smile creeps across your face. You've achieved the unthinkable and destroyed a monster. Something is wrong. Uh, yeah, no shit. <laughs> Our ship is almost <laughs> destroyed. The influence recoils from your inner mind, as if burned on a hot coal. Memories flood back, memories of terrible things committed by your hand. If not your will, it's too much for you to process. Too much, too soon. Darkness consumes you, and your consciousness is no more. Jagged memories resurface of figures you know once basked in your love. Where are they now? You don't know or can't remember. There is an awakening. Ground is beneath you, dry land, mercifully stable, hiding nothing. You hear low tones in conversation and open your eyes. Wow. <laughs> Quest. You see your crew as they realize you are awake. They crowd round excitedly, explaining recent events. 
If you understand correctly, you fell unconscious as the Kraken died. They sailed to landfall to beseech the healers and scholars there for help. A silhouette hovers above you and your eyes adjust. They shape resolves into someone you recognize. Voltaire, you old rascal, you rasp. A flicker of a smile appears on your face. You've been under a ponderous long. No doubt your higher faculties and lower manners will return with rest. An unseen presence returns cautiously this time. You sense it yearning. It loves all of its children, even one who rallies against it so violently. There is an unspoken invitation. Return and all will be forgiven. But now, when the dark presence probes your mental defenses, you focus on the light of your loved ones. Are they alive or merely scintillating memories? You must find out. Killing the Kraken revealed them, tearing down a barrier to the truth, hopefully confounding the cult in other ways to reveal more. As you regain your strength, the crew inform you that cult activity has only increased since the Kraken's defeat. No one else has been able to oppose the cult's inexorable dominance. The crew are as eager as you to resume the fight. Now they know what the cult are capable of. First, you must learn about their immediate motives, perhaps by capturing one of their command vessels. Such a vessel is only captained captained by the upper echelons, captain, uh, echelons of cult leadership, and they rarely leave their fortress save for their most critical conquests. Perhaps disrupting enough of their activities will draw their ire and their finest ship forth in the display of power. The connection with the presence has it always been here before? Perhaps now you can realize the link goes both ways. There were things you couldn't have known otherwise. You concentrate on gently probing along the link, trying to glean some new insight. You grope clumsily in the inner dark and sense brief amusement from the presence that rules here. Then, just as suddenly, it slams up its own walls against you. You're clearly at a disadvantage, but you feel heartened for trying. Your hope for obtaining information via the presence has been dashed, so you'll have to do it the hard way. Refugees have been flooding into landfall, fleeing from the cult as they expand their reach. You can start by interviewing some of their leaders. It has been an intensely exhausting but fruitful day. Stories drenched in woe and tears, hard voices, steely and glassy eyes. It's all feed your resolve to stop the cult wherever it takes. Perhaps most urgently, the cult have begun enslaving people for unknown ends. It's a horrent, and stopping it will frustrate the cult's twisted ambitions. The liberated may also be a valuable source of information. The cult are enslaving people. Rescue them where you can and put a stop to the slave trade. That's our quest. There have been also many uh, corroborating rumors of people going missing permanently. You guess Your guess is they are being sacrificed by cultists to the Halifron. The nest must be exterminated with extreme prejudice. By sacrificing innocents to the Halfron, the cult have revealed the locations of several nests burned them. Worryingly, certain port islands have been declaring loyalty to the cult. Whether out of fear or misguided ignorance, it matters not. You know these places. They are presided over by self-serving officials that care little for their own people, and it shows. It's likely wouldn't take much to stoke some fires and help the common folk reclaim their independence. Of course... It would mean stem of the cult relentless power grab into the bargain. Some ports have fallen under the dominion of cult. Liberate them. A region on your chart far to the west is heavily annotated and marked with cult activity hotspots. You will doubtless discover more of your journeys continues. They are make ready to depart with shot and steel in your hole and fire in your belly. By going into the world map and navigating to the cult islands region, you will see exploration maps highlighted in the red circle. These maps contain cult activity you must stop. Fast travel unlocked. In a port, you can now visit tavern and select the fast travel button from the left hand side. You may travel to any other port you have previously discovered for a supplies cost. As you get closer to port, you hustle and bustle on the docks, a welcoming sight. Ah. That was uh, an earful, man. So let's go to, um, wow. So all of these. So pretty much 
it looks like we're only really done with about half the game here. <laughs> uh, we could probably go through plenty of the others. Um, I'm I'm still having fun with the game. I don't know how you guys are liking it. I guess I'll judge because this was all recorded in a very short period of time. I guess I'll evaluate the series from here. See where you guys go. I feel like we've <laughs> we beat the game with the uh, the the crack, and I don't think there's gonna be an epic after that. The story might get a little bit more intense, uh, but as far as I know, you guys uh, so far it's been pretty cool. Y'all, please let me know um, what your thoughts are on the series continuing and where we should go from there. I think we did like seven or eight episodes now. Uh, so yeah, y'all, let me know. Thanks all so much for watching, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. This is Illusion signing off, and we'll see you next time.